the burner, man. Back with burner talks. And it seems like DeJounte Murray is out for the Atlanta Hawks. Before we get started, it'd be great. I appreciate if you guys can hit that like button. But let's go ahead and get into it. Breaking trade. The Hawks are going to receive Larry Nance Jr., Dyson Daniels, a 2025 first-round pick, and a 2027 first-round pick. And the Pelicans are going to receive DeJounte Murray. In the comment section, I want you guys to let me know who won this trade. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is one of them trades that's kind of kind of makes me mad um, because some of you guys know I am an Atlanta Hawks fan, my favorite team. Um, but I also got to realize, like, hey, this is sports. This is not my life. So I had to calm down a lot when I seen this. But me as a sports fan... Landry feels you might be as bad as the GM that you was as a player, bro. Really mid so far in this offseason. The first round pick, did, I didn't agree with that, and I don't agree with this trade. Um, if you say you want to trade DeJounte Murray, that's fine. You know, him and Trey Young are 55 and 62. Um, I did want them guys to see if they can get better pieces around them. But if you say it's not working, okay, I can give you that. But in my opinion, I think that I would have kept DeJounte Murray and got rid of Trey Young because I felt like when Trey Young went out uh, this year with an injury, I feel like the, the team played a lot better when he was out, when it came to movement without the ball and offense. Either way, you want to get rid of one or the two, I have no problem with. But at the caliber of player that DeJounte Murray is, you got to get more for him than that. We just seen Mikael Bridges go for five first-round picks, a second-round pick, and Bogdanovich. You seen all you got for him, and you telling me all you can get for DeJounte Murray is two first rounds, Larry Nance and Dyson Daniels? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You could have got way more than that. The Atlanta Hawks literally just got robbed in broad daylight, I feel. The only positive I really see in this trade for the Hawks, I do like Dyson Daniels. Um, we are one of the worst teams, the Hawks, in defense um, in the league. And you bringing in Dyson Daniels, you're going to bring in a defensive-minded player, a player that can knock down some shots and is pretty long. So I have no problem with you bringing in Dyson Daniels. Um, they could have got a way better deal than this. Hell, you could have got a better deal with the Lakers than this. You know, they could have they could have offered you something better than this. Um, so I don't get it, but this could be bigger than what we see, than, than the eye can tell. This could be a this could be a rebuild incoming. Uh, we're gonna have to see in the next couple of weeks what happens with Trey Young. You know, he could be on the way out also because this this trade makes no sense to me. Me personally, it makes no sense. So we might be in for something bigger. I hope not because we're not terrible we're not good but we're not terrible terrible um so we'll just have to we, only time will tell how this ends up going down but i am as of today i am sick i love dejounte murray man i'm not gonna lie. i love this game um i love the way he carried himself so hey man you will be missed dejounte murray man if you're watching this video bro i love you bro but I want to know what you guys think about this. And oh, yeah, I forgot. And also with the Pelicans, the Pelicans are going to look kind of tough. If they can find a way to re-sign B.I., um, Benham Ingram, they could be looking pretty tough this year. You're going to be able to move DeJounte Murray to the point guard where I feel like he strives the best, you know. Um, I think he's a better point guard than having to play shooting guard off the ball. So you're going to have him at the one. You're going to have CJ at the two, B.I. at the three, Zion at the four, um, hopefully Valachuna should have to see if they're going to re-sign him back. But those four right there are kind of promising. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be able to put up buckets with damn near anybody in the league. And that's a, that's a big squad too. So it's going to be exciting to see the Pelicans next year. My Hawks, pff, I'm sick. But you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Was this a good trade for both teams who won this trade? Uh, what do you think the Hawks are going to do? Or are they in full rebuild mode? Let me know all these things in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like up the video. And y'all already know who it is.